Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Hello. Hello, how are we? Uh, I'm all right. You're all right? Just all right? Yeah. Neck, my, I had a bad night, so my neck actually really hurts. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Haven't you got a new mattress? Didn't you say no, you it's, getting... it's 30 days. Guys, I've ordered a premium mattress, but it's 30 days. It's really... uh, you would not believe how happy this man is that uh, new mattress is, is coming. You, 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 you're seriously all right. No, yeah, it's really hanging. Yeah, carry on. Fair enough. We'll give it a uh, guys, welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Uh, we've taken a, a slightly different uh, approach again this week. We have. Um, you may notice that in the front here we have two TCC close-up bags. Um, and there is a reason for that. In a moment, um, this one here is yours. This is mine, yeah. The, the thinner one. The thinner one. And this one <laughs> here is mine. Uh, a little bit later on, we're going to be having a conversation yeah. about um, what's in the TCC bags. The one that belongs to you and the one that belongs to me. Uh, so that, that should make for interesting... Oh, very good. There is... <laughs> Feel better now. Wow, I'm on cloud nine now, boys. Excellent, okay. Sorry, that's, that's why I was being weird, because I'd done it earlier, and I just made no noise. I was like, right. So wow. I didn't really click my net probably, but now I've really got to... Well, I think we all heard that in cyber side. world, didn't we? Well, um, all right, so now I'm actually ready to go. Excellent, okay. Right. So, um, for those of you that are in the know, uh, I'm sure it's uh, probably common knowledge now uh, that every year... Uh, the Magic Circle, even if you're not a member, holds uh, two very distinct competitions. They hold the close-up competition mm -hmm. and they hold Stone Magician of the Year. Uh, the close-up competition is earlier in the year, uh, the stage uh, competition is later in the year, um, and you also have Young Magician of the Year as well, uh, which is run by the Young Magicians Club. Lovely. So this year, um, first, as far as I'm aware, there were two winners. Uh, there was... The little, the little photo. Of them both I know, I know, and this has never happened as far as I'm aware in the whole of the Magic Circle's history. Um, so we had uh, joint winners, which was Matthew Lamotte, um, who has won it three years in a row now, um, as far as I'm aware. He's won it three, uh, definitely three times, wow. I think it's three years in a row. So congratulations on that, Matt, um, or Matthew, and uh, also Paul Pitford. So uh, the reason I bring this up is that um, quite a few years back we did a DVD project with Paul, mm -hmm. uh, the VS project. Um, he approached us, uh, came in and saw us, uh, sent us some material down for us to have a look at. And I think the first thing that we were immediately taken uh, with was how smooth uh, a performer and how smooth a technician uh, Paul is. Mm. Um, being someone that's very much interested in sleight of hand. Um, it, you know, you quite often can see someone uh, that performs sleight of hand and they kind of go into moves, yeah. and those per people uh, that just pick it up, they, they do it. They mm. just, you know, they go into it and they come out of it, and you wouldn't have even suspected that anything had happened yeah. um, until it's too late, really. And uh, Paul certainly falls into the last category, those those people that go in and out of a slight inner routine, and you wouldn't even know that that was, that was happening. That's clever. Um, the VS Project, uh, just give you a little bit of background, is Paul's interpretation of a Marlowe concept, uh, the versatile switch, um, and I have never seen anybody do it better than Paul, ever. Um, and I've seen a couple of people on uh, Instagram, on YouTube, live, uh, that that have performed the move, because you know it's been in print in one of the Marlowe books for, for many, many years. Uh, but I've never seen anybody do it better than Paul, um, and so smoothly and so eloquently as well. So, Lovely. Uh, so I, I thought that we could um, that we would mention it here. Yep. Um, and in fact, why don't we have a look at a trailer? Mm. Okay, I'm going to show you the trick now. We'll do this with you if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Just say stop anytime you like. Stop. Take a look at the card. Okay. Right. Show it around. Yeah. Shake the camera. If we just place it back like that. What I'm going to do is just shuffle the cards like this. It's nothing to do with the trick, I'm just showing off. <laughs> like what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it and get it within four. Okay. I think I'll try for that one. I don't want you giving anything away though when I show you these. I will go for. Oh, 
that one there. Now, I'm not 100% yours is any here, but if it is, don't show anything. Okay. Don't help me, because when you go away, you might think, ah, that's how he did it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cards first. So we've got the Ten of Diamonds, we've got the Queen of Hearts, we've got the King of Diamonds and the Jack of Diamonds. Don't say anything yet. I'm going to try and read your body language. Okay? Yep. I think I know. I think, let me just check. Yeah, I think that's the one. I'll show you the ones that it wasn't. It definitely wasn't them three. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go with that. Watch. For the big finish, what's the card? The one you just chose? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Though. <laughs> No way. <laughs> I can't remember that even being there, I can't. And I certainly can't remember these other four either. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, a little bit. I think I just forgot. Well, that they were there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Don't say anything. Yeah. Jubbly. That what I, I mean, it's just wonderful, isn't mm. it? It's just brilliant. Um, and I, you know, like I said just a moment ago, he's such a smooth technician. You wouldn't have even suspect, or let alone detect, that anything was was happening. Mm. Um, and uh, the clip that you saw there is just a wonderful example of of Paul's performing person mm -hmm. uh, personality. He is a lovely man. He, you know, um, he's very uh, very likable. Uh, yeah. You warm to him straight away, and. Um, you can easily see, or I can see, uh, easily see um, why he would place um, first in a, in a competition. Yeah, very smart. Um, yeah, and, and it's great. So, guys, check out the VS Project um, by Paul Pickford. Uh, we have it in streaming version or on DVD, um, and that's in stock and available to purchase now. Lovely. So, next, we've got, should we mention an academy coming up? Oh, I think we should. First of all, I just want to mention, uh, we just had Chris Rawlings' Academy, uh, which was Chris Rawlings on Card Magic. Yeah. Which was very good, because it combined both mentalism and card stuff. And it was really, really enjoyable to watch, and it had a lot of good feedback. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out. It's on the site, available for download now. Excellent. Okay. And we have next... Joel Dickinson. Wow. He's on there, look. Yeah, there he is. I can just about Joel make him out on the camera there. Um, so this is uh, Joel Dickinson. Um, you may have seen Joel's name pop up um, on various projects that he's released over the years. Um, known for a whole range of different stuff, but I think mainly mentalism based. Mm. Uh, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it because I'm not as familiar with his work as I am with someone like Chris's. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to, to watch that and just see what Joel has to offer because I've heard nothing but good, <laughs> good things. I'm excited as well because I... We have got a trailer we'll drop in a second, but I just watched a trailer for the first time. <laughs> trailer? Trailer for the first time earlier. Um, and it is really fun. You can see, just in there, you see three different types of magic that he's going to be doing. Excellent. Um, which is really cool. And you can see his energy. He's really excited. Uh, and it's always good when the tutors, obviously, most of the tutors are excited, but you can really feel the energy. You know Excellent. what I mean? It's a nice vibe. Have we got a trailer for we this? We have indeed. So. Okay, so let's take a look. Hello, I'm Joel Dickinson, and I'm here to tell you about my Alakazam Academy course. Within my Academy course, I'll be teaching a big mix of routines. And these are routines that I head out with when I'm hired to perform at events. When I perform live, I always aim to leave an impression of astonishment and bewilderment. And within my Alakazam Academy, I'll be sharing these routines for the very first time. I'll be including my chop cup routine, which has an ending that is guaranteed to blow your spectators minds, and I'm not exaggerating. This is something your spectators will not see coming, and again I'll be tipping this for the very first time. I will also be teaching some of my card magic, from very quick yet amazing and baffling colour changes to full on astounding routines. When I head out to show people magic, I love to appear to be able to read people's minds and to be able to appear to influence them under impossible conditions and situations. So that's why I'm going to be sharing some of my favourite mentalism and mind reading creations. I'm really looking forward to presenting my Alakazam Academy course. More importantly, I'm looking forward to seeing you there.
I'm going to get straight to the point. I honestly now think I know what this is. <laughs> no, you can't. You don't know what it is. <laughs> this is a form of transport, right? <gasps> and this is... No, 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 no. I was going to originally go for a bus, but it's not. It's your car. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> no, man, no. No. <laughs> wow. So that, uh, what more can we say really? Um, looks extremely interesting. Uh, so much stuff that um, I think is going to end up being covered on that course. Yeah. Um, and by someone uh, that I think is very thoughtful uh, about the magic from, from what I've heard. So yeah, I'm definitely tuning in for that one. I think, because um, you know, I'm getting into mentalism. So I think uh, it's going to be fun to see his presentation style. Because you can see in that last little clip at the end, the man was like buying into, mm -hmm. like was really like engulfed in the experience, which is nice to see, obviously. He's not just a spectator. So I want to I wanna see how he does it his way. So guys, nice. um, that is Joel Dickinson. That is the next Academy, which is next Wednesday. The uh, is it Wednesday? No, it's in two weeks' yeah, time, isn't two it? Weeks Sorry, time, beg yeah. your pardon. What's uh, happening next? So, oh, oh, well, you'll be in Blackpool. Yeah. Blackpool. Wow. So, uh, guys, Blackpool is just around the corner. Um, please, uh, once you're there, I know it's it's amazing, it's all yeah. all inspiring. Um, but when you're there, come over and say hello to the guys at the stand. Uh, I won't be here, or I won't be there. I'll be here. Yeah. Um, so I'll be manning the shop. Um, whilst everybody is all away at Blackpool um, getting blown across the pier and, and stuff oh, yeah so, I hope it's not really, as cold as it is today really looking forward today to that aren't you? No, I'm, I'm actually really excited we've got uh, a few new releases we have yes um, you may actually well uh, just touching on that mm. there are a couple that have now appeared on the site so we have Heirloom uh, the Whitechapel um, Heirloom mm. uh, Emily's Revenge Whitechapel edition Check it out Beautiful. because it is an amazing product um, and you get everything there to perform an amazing piece of mentalism. Just the smell of the wallet would make me want to buy it. I'm like, <laughs> I just sat there the other day just like this. Yeah, wherever floats your boat, Harry. Um, <laughs> and we also, today, we've put up something called a human abacus. Um, check it out. That I is mean, killer. honestly, um, just to give you the inside scoop, I uh, when we originally were approached with this, um, which was... The, Quite late last year, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I took it out and I road tested both elements of it um, at a function. Um, got great reactions. So all I would say is check it out, watch mm. the trailer, um, have a, have a read of the description. You will love it, honestly. If you want something to to do in your show as a closer, or even if you want to do it in the middle, this is perfect. Yeah, it looks so nice as well, doesn't it? Everything yeah, is yeah. Everything is really is superbly made. Um, and very easy to do as well. Um, yeah, very easy. Not that that's, you know, when I say easy, it's easy from a method point of view, but really strong from an effect. Yeah. So uh, certainly check that out. And a couple of other goodies uh, that will be appearing uh, mm. on our site and will be at Blackpool. A lovely little open arm, I'm not going to say anything else, but I've been doing it so much, it's really nice. Um, we filmed the, the video for that the other day, me and Dad and uh, we come up with a nice few little bits on mm -hmm. there, so additional bits. We've got something um, from uh, Liam Montier as well. Yeah, which is very nice. Um, and a couple of other goodies which we're going to keep under wraps just yeah. for the time being. But, but uh, Make sure you come over to our stand. Also, uh, don't say anything, but we might have a little competition over at our stand <laughs> for you to win a chance. To have a chance. Of yeah. winning some bits and bobs Ooh. the leaderboard will and, be there and knowing your dad it will be an immense prize at the end Silly. as well he'll probably give you the whole and the tables yeah it? we don't want to come back and the back bags, with it at all yeah, you, know, just, banners, you get the whole yeah. lot <laughs> uh, but no, if we've got any stock left yeah, i mean yeah. uh, having been to blackpool before and been on the stand yeah. I, can, I know how busy it can be and i know how much uh, actually gets taken and we we come back with very little afterwards so, oh, well which is good last year we sold out of omen yeah so uh, i'm taking omen this year yeah to them that because i love that one uh, I'm gonna also take along for the ride a nice little packet one that you've already seen uh, and a few other bits uh, one of them that is in here but I'm gonna take along excellent okay um, we will come back to those in just a second but yeah. you mentioned competition there uh, I think now would be a great time just to touch on the competition from mm. last week uh, we had a deck of cards that we were given away which was uh, this one just here uh, this is signed by Jason Ladanier. Uh, I got him to sign it at the session convention. Uh, I asked, uh, albeit in a very roundabout way, um, who Jason Ladanier's uh, mentor was, mm -hmm. uh, the one he's most associated with. Uh, and the answer is... 
Good. Uh, is Darwin Ortiz. Oh, I was, so, was going to say that. So uh, if you emailed in uh, with Darwin Ortiz, then um, then well done. Brilliant. Uh, thanks for getting in touch with us. Uh, there was a winner, because uh, we have to pick a winner uh, of the deck of cards, and that is Phil Craven. So, Phil, um, congratulations. Well done, Phil. Please uh, drop me an email uh, just to sales at alakazam.co.uk uh, with your address, uh, and we will get these uh, posted out to you. Sweet. So, um, Harry. Yes. We need to set a competition for, for this week. Yeah. Have you got anything in mind? Um... I'm just thinking, Yeah. I was just going to throw a really vague one out there that doesn't really have a right answer, but that right. might be wrong. Okay, so what's that? Just, what is your favourite Alex Aaron product you've ever bought? Ah, right, okay. Purely just because come out to Blackpool, so we're going to have some old bits and some brand new okay, bits. Okay, so let's, let's extend on that then. Uh, what is the the favourite Alex Aaron product you've bought and why? Yeah. Yeah, and then we can have a look at that. We can choose from from there the one that we think is, yeah, is fitting. Right. Yeah. Um, so rather than being just a direct answer, yeah, it's the one that we we think um, mm. deserves to win for that that moment. Yeah, because uh, I might even be random. Yeah, so. I had so many people ring up and like last year at Blackpool, it was so nice speaking to everyone. And when you're walking to like get a sausage roll from Greg's or something, mm. um, you you just stop and speak to people. And the amount of people that were just going on about the extractor, yeah. non-stop, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so it's always interesting for us to hear your thoughts. Uh, and on the back of that, uh, we do have um, reviews that you can leave a review section underneath mm. each of the products. So please, if you've got something to say, you want to put a review up, a uh, positive review, you know, no method uh, revealing or anything mm. like that. If you just want to pop up a review, we would love to hear from you, um, and that is just underneath every product. Uh, you need to pop it up underneath there, uh, because like I said before, if you email them in, that's great, and we do read them, um, but we can't pop them up underneath mm. your name, so you, you do need to, uh, to do that. Whilst we're quickly uh, on the thing of like activities, like um, being active and stuff, our, sorry, I mention it every week, but it's nice to see. So our Instagram, not that, our Instagram has been hopping up uh, we now have 224 posts. Great. Uh, we now, I believe, have 1,800 and I'm going to say 40 something followers. Lovely. Um, so we're posting every day on there. And lately, all right, I've been a bit cheeky, I've been putting sales up on there. Uh -huh. So you can get special codes on selected items that you can use uh, online Great. at Alakazam. So if you're not following us already, then have a look on there because you can save money and see nice magic. Excellent. Okay, so check out Instagram, guys, mm. and you could be in for um, some discounts and some prizes and things. Yeah. So, um, Harry, we mentioned uh, that you have your TCC case and I have my TCC yeah. case. Um, and before we look at the contents, uh, let's just say something quickly about these. The TCC cases are brilliant. Uh, yeah, actually, long, so good. It's for a long time, I used to have like this big sort of uh, uh, case that um, electricians use that opens out. And I've still got it. But I hated carrying that around with me, especially if I had a job in London and mm. carrying it on the tube and, and things. Yeah. Just not not good at all. Um, these are great. Yeah. Um, because they're, they have close up act in them. Yeah, so they're not very big, yeah. but they fit a lot in there. Also, uh, it's really it's soft, it's light, but one thing is it does do its job and it does protect because it's actually got a hard lit, if you listen. Yeah. It's yeah. got a hard plastic shell. Uh huh. So there's no way anything's going to get damaged in there. So I'm intrigued. Um, mm. What's in your case? I am just going to say, yeah. Yeah. I haven't actually tidied it up for this. This is generally how I keep my case. Shame on you. I you say, should tidy it every time you do a gig. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, all right. This is. I'm not. I'm not saying I've done it just for this. I'm saying I do it. But now I say that's really going to be a mess because I haven't looked in there. But. Oh. No, that's not oh, bad. That's, yeah, no, that's really good. That's cool. Uh, these are just old business cards on top where you can put them down there. Wow. And now, look, sorted. Yeah. Right so place. just give us a quick rundown of so, the stuff that's in here because this will be interesting to you guys to see the difference in a moment between my case and yours because I know an immediate difference. Yeah. Yeah, go so, for it. Uh, I've got, yeah, I haven't got anything like yours. So, Bitbook. Uh-huh. Uh, regular bicycle cards, Mark's cards. Uh, book test. Uh, some buttons, one large, one small, not for a trick, just in case one of my shirts break. Very good. Uh, the gallery, mm -hmm. mentalism piece. Omni deck, more mark cards. Invisible deck, extreme burn, loads of business cards. Human is in there, the human coin is in there. Um, I've got stand up Monty, 
I've got Soccer Stars. Um, you know these bad boys. Yeah, for good. Them, uh, and the code is in there. But obviously, I've got my assassin on me, mm -hmm. and in there, I've got the new opener that we're going to release, um, and Will to Read and bits and bobs like that. In this bit, sorry. Um, well, this case is just perfect, isn't it? So I've got Look Sharp in there. I've got uh, Double Cross, Smudged. Uh, stealth case is actually in there, but the actual case is in my other bag. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got on me, plus digital force bag. Uh, plus digital force bag. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So um, this is this is very uh, this is your working case. Yeah. Uh, this is the case that you go out and you use. Um, okay. So let's have a look at my case then. Um, my case is slightly different. And uh, this is going to be fun for me to see because I already know, I won't say it yet, but I'm going to say a point in a second. So, this is my case. Um, I, I've got to admit, mine's not as tidy as yours. Um, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. That's yeah. not that bad. Um, I don't even know why that's in there. Um, so I have, um, what do I have in here? So I have a wand. I actually have two wands. This is a new one, and there's a collapsible wand, um, like a screwed together one, just down in here. I have a set of cups and balls. I have some final low balls here. Um, these are monkey fist balls. Wait, look at that. Look how much we've actually fit in these cases. I'm not even joking. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. They're yeah. brilliant. Uh, two Sharpies. Um, I have, this is a brilliant Very trick, good, yeah. um, which unfortunately is out of stock uh, currently, but this is new limited edition, um, which is amazing trick. Uh, I have flash paper, I have uh, ring and rope, a jumbo coin. Actually, I have two jumbo coins in here. There's one behind there. Uh, thumb tip and silk, uh, a load of coins and some poker chips, cards, uh, killer elite, uh, killer elite pro, sorry, uh, business cards, uh, some more coins, uh, in there um, and some silks. Um, <laughs> they, oh look, these are actually Alexander business cards. So that Lad. was from when I was at a convention last, by the sounds of it. Um, my business cards. So nice. um, some more coins, a lighter, um, hand cream, great. Mm. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, what's that? That's a. You uh, nicking stuff. Are you tag. stealing stuff? You, if you see my camera, yeah, you know what it's, it's a gag. <laughs> a gag. Um, so yeah, that's my my stuff. So I, what what was the observation that you've made? Is that my stuff is very not samey, but kind of samey. Right. So I don't have I don't do any coin magic. So I need I'm trying to learn confusing coins, but I've been waiting for two pound versions to come in for so long. It must have been about ten years now. So I'm just waiting for that to come in, and then I'll learn. A is coin that a trick. complaint? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm going to find a complaint to Alex. It's disgusting. Okay. So, uh, I also don't do anything because I notice you do rope stuff. Mm. I, I have got a rope trick, but I, don't, I haven't learned it yet. Right. So, I don't do anything that's going to play big no. for people. Right. Like cups and balls uh, on your Facebook, you don't want that Houdini, and I've got the, such a good reaction. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I don't do a lot of stuff like that, and I think it may be. I think it might just be because of the gigs I've done. Right. Okay. And also. Um, and this is different. Uh, this is, I think, you know, the other thing that is unique is that um, you've picked effects that are, are commercial effects that you, that you, you know, more than suit your personality mm -hmm. and you are more than happy performing and do very well. Whereas a lot of my case doesn't have um, uh, commercially available effects in it. Uh, the only commercially available effect that I can see in here currently is Killer Elite. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, and... Yeah. Um, and new limited edition. All the other stuff is a deck of cards just for doing card tricks with. Mm. Uh, the coins are all, you know, uh, there's some gaff coins in there, but they are sleight of hand based tricks, cups and balls, um, flash paper, the ring on rope is David Williamson's ring on rope. So, really, everything in my case, with the exception of a couple mm. of items, are not commercially bought yeah. bought things. Yeah. That's not to say that I don't co do commercially bought things because I do things like the bit book. Yeah. And I do things um, l like Along for the Ride that you performed on the last yeah. vlog um, and Strangers Gallery, which you saw me perform on the last vlog. So uh, it's interesting that my working case is the one, this is the one I go out with, but if I chose to do those other routines, I would take out maybe one of the decks of cards and mm. put in Strangers Gallery. I know, think that comes down to one just experience. Because I think because you've been around magic for so long, yeah. you've got a wider range 
of right. repertoire. You yeah. know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. you've got one arranged than me, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In terms of you've kind of dipped in and out and you've seen what works for you yeah. and stuff like that. Whereas at the minute, I've just picked what I like doing. Yeah. And to be fair, I've altered a few bits. Um, so like, if something gets like a reaction, a really, really good reaction, I'll know how to do that again. Yeah. But I have dropped stuff out. But yeah, I kind of just go for the ones like that. Whereas I haven't got, I don't really perform anything from DVDs. No, no. And, and again, and, and I think that's a, re a reflection of your, your kind of interests mm. and, and, uh, and other factors. My interests are books and DVDs, mm. um, so I, I tend to do routines that I've learnt from books and DVDs yeah. rather than a, a commercially bought effect, but I do do commercially bought effects uh, depending on on what it does for me as a performer. Yeah. Um, like I said, you do the ones that you've chosen very well, but I know, because we've had this conversation, that you've chosen them because because not only do you like them, they're a reflection of you as a performer. Yeah. Um, so, but it is interesting to see the uh, two dynamics. The other thing I was going to say about my case is that uh, I do parlour and stand up. Um, I can uh, take stuff out of here and mm. put only another few items in, and I've got a, a stand up spot as well. Yeah. Um, so, um, so what I'm saying is, is that stand up uh, and parlour doesn't necessarily need to have a bigger carrying bag and bigger yeah. props and stuff because I can do a lot of that with things that are in here. Oh, oh. Cards across, yeah. uh, cards wallet, you know, uh, cups and balls. You've got all right. that stuff and then you do you do you carry an assassin or what do you carry? Yeah, I've got an assassin. Yeah, so then that's a whole mentalism thing in there. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm set much you are yeah, um, I've got my to, assassin to, to, to do that. Um, interesting stuff. Um, one of the things I did want to touch on though um, is cups and balls because yep. it, it got raised um, because you know it's like one of my yeah, favourite routines. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it is, it's nice. I like. I don't want to say what you've got actually but yeah, you carry on. Uh, <laughs> well, look, I'm not going to show you my set. Um, oh. Not the set that I've got in here anyway. Um, <laughs> Can but, I just quickly say what this is? This, yeah, is actually a trick by Chris Rubens called uh, Pro Pick. Ah, which yes. is actually just quite a fun trick of your with your friends or something, and you like music, so that's a good one to take to like festival or something. Yeah, uh, yeah obviously definitely. it's got little bits in there, but um, we haven't got any, have we? We we haven't, but you know, we, yeah. we I'm sure that we'd be able to get hold but of them. They're, yeah, uh, they're quite fun actually. I like them. They're just in here as well. So lots of great stuff in the case. Yeah, um, the uh, the cups and balls that I've got in here currently are a set that I've had for years. Um, they're an antiquarian set, so. I, there's no point in me bringing those out. Um, the ones that I wanted to talk about were these ones because I think this is a good segue in. Did you hear that? I just heard, you heard quality. That. So um, we have had a good working relationship uh, with Leo Smetzers for many years now mm. and I've known uh, Leo um, in for that amount of time. Um, and he knows that I love the cups and balls. He too loves cups and balls and the three shell game and oh, all the wonderful so things that he, he manufactures. I um, was very lucky that um, a little while back he gifted me a set of uh, cups and balls. Um, and the reason I'm mentioning them now is because I want you to see how good um, these are. In fact, I'm gonna get all three, uh, all three out. Um, they are solid cups, um, I, and I'll tell you how solid they are. Let me see if I can do this without it rolling off the table. Um, these are stainless steel uh, solid cups. Um, this is, it's just a wonderful, wonderful The good thing set. about them is as well, is when you hit it with a wand, it makes such a good noise. It does. Um, I'm not going to take it out and, and hit it with a wand. No. No. But they, they, these are just amazing. Um, I have this set. I have a, a set that is a um, stainless steel harmonica, uh, which is a set, um, and a couple of other variations as mm -hmm. well, um, which he's managed to pick up for me, but there's some in wood uh, as well, which are really, really lovely. Um, and I am a bit of a cups and balls nut. Um, as is my friend uh, Mike Davis, who's got an yeah. amazing collection. He's seriously, he's got a, a fabulous collection of cups and balls. Um, the reason I mention them here is because we um, we stock uh, the cups, we stock uh, the chop cups, the stainless steel mm. um, chop cups, and some of the harmonica ones. We do the harmonica uh, plastic versions yeah. uh, as well. They're very nice. Um, and if people are interested, we, we, we will start looking at maybe the sets again. We had them... Uh, a few years back, um, but I think we're actually out of the sets now. Um, but we can have a look at that mm. if people are interested, because uh, we're always in correspondence with, with Leo. But these truly are uh, a lovely set of, uh, of cups. Um, they got high shine on them. Uh, they, uh, Although they're heavy, 
Um, I wouldn't say that that would be an off-putting thing. Yeah, it doesn't impede um, you in any way. If you do uh, cut rolls, um, they, they work um, very well. Um, they will roll across the table to be able to do that. And a lot of this stuff have got this rubber thing on here, hasn't it? Yeah, and it just it just lends something to it. Um, and they are just they are lovely. They really are. Uh, whilst we're talking about the cups, um, Leo also produces these. These are uh, the baseballs uh, to go with the cups and balls uh, or the chop cups. Um, they're beautifully made. Um, they don't, even though they bounce, if you drop them there, they will bounce. Um, they don't have very much of a roll on them. Mm. So if they do bounce, unless you're really throwing it or dropping it from yeah. the height, they're not going to roll that far, yeah. uh, which may not seem like anything, but they actually yeah. do have a practical um, element to them. Another thing as well is um, we do them in final loads and stuff like that as well, yeah. so you can Yeah, so use. even though I've got the monkey fist balls in there, um, there are, I do have a, a set of the final load balls as well. They just look really cool, don't yeah. they, really? Um, I am a bit of a traditionalist in the sense that I normally end up producing fruit at the end. Yeah. Uh, the load balls are in there uh, because they're small enough to go in here and if I can't find fruit or the fruit that I brought goes missing or whatever, I've still got final loads here. Um, which which helps. Um, I'm just going to say one more thing as well. Talking about this, um, I'm really going to learn then uh, free shell game mm. because that's another thing. Literally, it packs down to like that big. Yeah. Isn't it? Leo's yeah, yeah. Leo's one is the best one I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Um, and he does it, um, and the reactions you get from it are just insane. Yeah, I remember when when your dad gave me one of them. He said, "There you go," and I was like, "What's that?" He said, just unscrew it, and I unscrewed it and tipped it out, and I was like, that is amazing. Literally, you just, I can feel it now, you know, you just feel nice in your hands, and you just tip it. They, the thing is, they don't even fall out, do they? They go. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, it's because a little so rubber suction well, yeah. on, the, on the side. Yes, yeah, so um, nice. So, uh, guys, uh, seriously, uh, check out um, Leo's stuff. Mm. Um, check out all the Cups and Balls stuff, to be fair. Um, yeah. We've got some other great products, Cups and Balls related, that we do on our site, um, including the Michael Amar DVDs. Yep. Um, but I especially wanted to point out my friend Leo's um, set of cups because they are they are some of the best quality that I've ever seen. Mm. Um, and, you know, pretty reasonable as well. So uh, check them out. Um, you will not be disappointed if you're a, if you're a cups and balls worker or want to get more into it. Yeah, and it makes a big difference, doesn't it, when you pull out props like that yeah. compared to like little really like poorly made things like that. Do you know what I mean? It just makes it makes everything just seem better. Yeah. I I'll be honest, the the set that I've got in there, um, just to, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, they might as well see the, uh, the light of day. Also, check out uh, Leo's Academy course because he talks, he shows a lot of his, about his props and stuff like that. Wow, well, I don't know what that is. Um, so in here, uh, this is the set of cups that I ca currently carry with me. Um, these are uh, ones that I actually bought from Paul Daniels many, many, many years ago uh, when he used to run the um, his magic boot fairs. Um, and you can see that they are they are more antique looking. Mm. Uh, they've got dents in the top where they've been bashed with a wand. Um, but uh, I still use the baseballs because um, yeah. I, I like using the baseballs rather than a little red crochet. Um, and they, they're nice, they do yeah. what I want them to do. Um, what I tend to do is I tend to change the cups and balls depending on, on what environment I'm performing in. Okay. So uh, I perform a lot at uh, Houdini's and that's a bar type environment. Yeah. Um, because of that, uh, I tend to use the heavier cups um, because if people start, I can throw them at, at, at the head. Yeah. Uh, I tend to use these because they, they, they make mm. a sound on the table um, and there, there's this kind of sense of, uh, you know, I make a point of don't touch the cups. Um, you know, and when I put the cups down, they know that they're solid. They know, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. touch them. <laughs> um, so that that's a consideration there. These I tend to use if I'm um, at a wedding um, and that sort of environment. They're nice. Yeah. yeah. They're really nice. Um, so I, I tend to mix it mix it up. But like I said, check out um, Leo's cups because honestly, uh, they are. Uh, some of the best that uh, I've ever seen, um, and uh, the sort of quality that you'd expect from from mm. Leo, to be to be honest. So, so um, they're all okay. These are how much are these, by the way? Just, uh, I don't um, know. They're not much. I think they're about twenty nine ninety nine. They might even be. Yeah, I think they're twenty five actually. Twenty five. Yeah, That's but bargain. they are actually really good. I mean, yeah. 
carry that around. Yeah, exactly. So much more practical than the big, mm. big case. So. Also, guys, the forum is growing. I go on there every day. There's more and more and more and more posts. Uh, more people signing up, and there's more questions. I remember once, one of one first day of the month, not one day. First day of the month, yep. uh, someone wins twenty five pounds just from being active on there Excellent. Uh, of loyalty points. And guys, um, I'm not sure if you can uh, put photos on there yet, but if you can't, then I want to see photos of uh, your close up sets. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah, yeah just to see, great. like maybe just a photo of what you have, and then just pick out maybe three of your favourite ones. What is on you. 24-7, yeah. um, and that would be nice to see, just to kind of see who likes what, and in case there's something that we've overlooked yeah. that you really like, and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, send us that in as well. Brilliant. Well, I think that's it. I yeah. think that is it, yeah. uh, Guys, thank you again for watching this week's Alcassan video blog. Uh, please check out the website. Loads of great products going up on a daily basis. Um, new things coming out of Blackpool next week. Yeah. So if you're at Blackpool, say hello. Yeah, come and check those out. Um, today we talked about the VS Project, uh, the close-up bags, our close-up case, mm. uh, and Joel Dickinson's uh, live. Let me just move that out of the way. All yeah. the way. Uh, Joe Dickinson live, um, which is in two weeks' time. Yeah, which will be brilliant. Yeah, um, so check out those. Um, obviously, with the Joe Dickinson thing, that's on the February monthly pass. So mm. why not check out the monthly yeah. pass and get um, Chris Rawlings Academy as well? Yeah, for yeah you a get great like, price. Yeah, you get like one course and the other one for like a tenner or something silly like that. Makes so, sense, doesn't lovely it? Lovely really? job. Yeah. So Harry, thank you again for thank joining you. me today, uh, guys. Um, remember the competition. Yeah. Yeah, which is. Uh, what's your favourite Alexand trick ever and why? Brilliant. Uh, sending those to sales at alexand.co.uk. Phil Craven, congratulations on winning the yep. Jason LeDanier, um cards. Please uh, just email in your address uh, and I'll pick that up uh, to sales at alexand.co.uk. Um, last week's winner um, still hasn't got in contact with us, so Adam Evans, please contact us. Uh, let us know that you've uh, seen this and we can get out your Max Maven set. Uh, they'll be in the post. Um, and that just leaves me to say thank you again for joining mm. us and on behalf of me and Harry um, have a great week we'll see you at Blackpool um, and join us again next time on the Alakazam oh. video blog see you later